So today, folks, I'm going to give you a brief example of why you should never, ever, ever pedestalize or celebrate celebrities. Marina Abramovich to present world premiere at Aviva Studios. Factory International today announced the world premiere by artist Marina Abramovich as part of its 2025 season. The daring large-scale performance Balkan erotic epic which explores eroticism, spirituality, and ritual will premiere at Aviva Studios in autumn 2025. Covering ancient beliefs and folk tales, Balkan erotic epic will blend art forms, bringing together performance, dance, and traditional Balkan throat singing to explore and enact the eroticism embedded in Balkan mythology. Marina Abramovich said, I was born in the Balkan as a child. I have been exposed to many spiritual rituals in the house of my grandmother, which left me with deep and lasting impressions that continue to shape the way I see the world today. I have long desired to look into ancient and pagan beliefs, folk tales, and rites rooted in the mythologies of this region of Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Albania, Serbia, Macedonia, Bosnia, Kosovo, Montenegro, along with gypsy and traveler cultures. In the past, for so many ancient cultures, procreation and life itself were based on numerous ceremonies aimed at creating and understanding our existence. By rediscovering this forgotten past, I would like to create a new understanding and context for the public today. So if you don't know who Marina Abramovich is, what she just said should give you a clue. I had a chance to look at her film titled The Balkan Erotic Epic, and I didn't actually watch this film because I couldn't even get through the first 30 seconds to a minute of this mess. And I am warning you right now, don't even think about it. Don't do it. If you go and attempt to watch that film, hey, that's on you. You will regret it. Not recommended. <laughs> it's interesting because ever since Diddy got locked up, there seems to be several Hollywood celebrities and entertainment execs who have come under the microscope and have been implicated in such wrongdoings. And it should be no surprise when those same celebrities have been seen over and over again hanging out and supporting people who are in the extreme category. But this is something you can see the breakdown of, right? You can see what's happening with the entertainment industry, the changes, the transitions, the exposure of corruption. You know, there is an alarming number of people who are into some freaky things there's writing painting dancing singing music comedy and many other things we call art and then there's darkness What is spirit cooking? Marina Abramovich, Satanist and Rothschild's conspiracy explored amid Zelensky ambassador backlash. Let's take a look at this article because there is something that I want to point out later. Ukraine president has appointed controversial performance artist Marina Abramovich as an ambassador for rebuilding schools in the country. The latter has raised eyebrows for her support of Satanist practices in the past. However, this has not stopped the applauded creator from rubbing shoulders with political elites. Now she is facing the internet's wrath for 
being an ambassador for children. During an interview with the Modern Art Museum in Shanghai, the 76-year-old said, I've been invited by Zelensky to be an ambassador of Ukraine to help the children affected by rebuilding schools and such. I have also been invited to be a board member of the Babian Yar organization to continue to protect the memorial. As the Serbia native looks forward to bringing change in Ukraine, netizens have been critical of her appointment. Critics believe that she is unsuitable for the position considering her infamous spirit cooking controversy amongst others. One tweet from DC Drano, he writes, Zelensky has asked Marina Abramovich to be an ambassador for Ukraine and help rebuild schools. Yes, this Marina Abramovich. They're flaunting their evil right in front of our faces. Well, yeah, that's part of the game. That's how this all works. Abramovich became the talk of the internet after her 1987 performance titled Spirit Cooking surfaced online. In the selection of poetic recipes, the artist instructed viewers to commit violent acts in the process of cooking. It is also important to note that the aforementioned absurdist recipes were painted onto walls using pig's blood. The jarring art piece led to her being rumored to perform black magic with Aleister Crowley at a dinner as well, describing the same Abramovich said in the past. It was just a normal dinner, just a normal menu, which I call spirit cooking. There was no blood, no anything else. We just call things funny names, that's all. Nothing to see here. Yeah, I get it. Nothing to see here. Marina Abramovich continues to be criticized for her niche art style. An ex-user shared a video of the artist dumping supposedly real coagulated blood on a sculpture of a child. He also claimed that the artist was friends with the Clintons, Rothschilds, and the Gates, amongst others. You know, let me tell you something about art. And why any artist would have to explain to everyone that what they are doing is art. So, individuals practicing Wicca, neo-paganism, or other forms of esoteric traditions, they will often refer to their practices as art for many reasons, but they are connected to the expression of creativity, ritual expression, and personal empowerment with mystical knowledge. With many forms of witchcraft and magic, there are carefully designed rituals which require creativity and symbolism. I mean, with some of these rituals, somebody had to have a lot of time on their hands. There are these artistic elements such as altars, candles, herbs, chants, symbolic gestures, so a practitioner will see this similar to how an artist uses colors, shapes to create a painting, which is use symbols, gestures, tools to craft spells and rituals. They will sometimes refer to it as their craft, right? As the great art or the art of magic. Aleister Crawley referred to magic as art and science. Magic is used not only for external results, such as casting spells for protection or love, but for inner transformation, like with alchemy. There is this perceived connection to nature, and many witches see themselves as artists working with the natural elements, earth, fire, air, water, spirit, the art of crafting potions, creating herbal remedies, the art of performing spells. If you've noticed, like many artists, they too want to be the best at their craft. It's like when people play video games, they want to be the best at playing video games. The use of symbols, tarot cards, astrology, and other 
forms of divination requires the practitioner to interpret these tools in a way that is deeply subjective and creative, much like interpreting a work of art. Like art, witchcraft involves a mix of knowledge, which is allowing practitioners to shape their spiritual experiences and create transformation. So this is why you'll hear people like Abramovich constantly reassure you and I that what they do is art. Although we can clearly see with our own poor eyes and what Abramovich is saying is that if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a cow. I mean, everything about this woman screams Evelyn of Castle Grayskull. I mean, she says she's not a Satanist, and I believe her, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you worship the Care Bears. We can see the message. We can see when people are planted. We get the money washing schemes, the elite congregation, in an exclusive cult-like fashion. I mean, you can see for yourself the individuals who engage in these weird elite parties, sometimes the same faces over and over again. Sometimes they do it for attention baiting. Abramovich is a shock artist, an aesthetic provocateur being called out for being a Satanist. And that is good for her business. The controversy over her work is what makes it sell. And some of these celebrities, they're freaks anyway, as many of us are finding out how freaky they really are. These practices, often regarded as the harnessing of unseen forces, walks the thin line between enlightenment and destruction. It takes from ancient wisdom, weaving together the natural and supernatural realms. But like all paths to power, it is filled with potential danger when approached without reverence or understanding. The energies that flow through spells, rituals, and invocations are neither good nor evil. Their impact depends entirely on the intent and knowledge of the practitioner. To dabble in these things without respect for its origins or consequences is to invite chaos. People that seek to control or manipulate this force or power, if misunderstood or misdirected, it spirals out of one's grasp. And it can affect the caster, but also the world around them in unpredictable ways. This is why witchcraft for centuries has been shrouded in both fascination and fear. Because its true nature lies in the balance of life and death light and shadow. The real danger of witchcraft is not its existence, but in the human inclination to use it without wisdom. People want to seek shortcuts to power or revenge, and those same people often find themselves entangled in the very forces they tried to command. The unseen world is connected, and every spell, whether of healing or harm, echoes back to its source. So, the greatest challenge is not the casting of spells, but the deep understanding of one's own intentions and the consequences that come after that. People need to have more respect for the mysteries of the universe and an awareness of the ripple effects every action creates. Well, that's going to be all for now, and there is more to come. I do have a recommended video for the day. Watch that video. It will be linked on screen at the top right corner of this video and in the description box and pinned comment below. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this presentation. Check out my other links in the description box below. You can, everyone, have a great day. And as always, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe. And I'll talk to you all soon. Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, 
and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials, pure body extra colloidal zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of zeolite today because now is the time to live your best life.